is going on guys welcome to the 12 week out video so i thought i would start this one off by giving y'all an update of something that's probably like one of the biggest things i've done for myself and ultimately for my self growth in a really long time so what that is is i quit my job of three years so Four, I mean, I, don't, I haven't talked about it much on here. I think I talked about it maybe two times in last year's prep series. But basically, um, I was at UPS for three years. I was a supervisor. And like what I tell people is I was there for three years. I wanted to quit for three years. It's, uh, there's for many reasons, it is something that I did not see myself doing long term. But for a long time, I justified it because it was decent money and for a while I thought that it was good money until you know I really started to break the job down compared to other things and like really see the kind of things I wanted to do financially so it was probably kind of a six to eight month negotiation in my head of you know do I quit do I stay here do I look for something in the in the meantime um, but Two, three weeks ago, I finally just made the decision to quit. It was pretty spur of the moment, but I could not be happy with the decision I made. And like I started off by saying, it is one of the best things that I have done for myself in a minute. So going from UPS to now coaching, I would say 75% full time. Alright, so going back and editing this, I don't think that I explained this in the level of detail that I wanted to. So the entire reason behind quitting was I have this online coaching business that has been put on the back burner because I'm just not able to put that time and effort into it. You know, when I'm delegating six hours a day at, you know, my real job, quote, unquote, um, but it was just time to prioritize that, put myself in an uncomfortable position for the time being to be able to fully support myself uh, with coaching, which is my passion and everything that I want to do with my life. Um, that is kind of the goal. So like my reason behind quitting was with the amount of time that was delegated to going to work five days out of the week, took away from the time that I had to put more effort and value into my business, into my clients, and you know the um, momentum of my growing my business to where I could financially support myself solely from it was just stalled. And um, I mean that like mainly from an aspect of the mental capacity I have in a day. Like if I'm getting up at four or 5 a.m., working up until I go to work around 11 o'clock, by the time I'm off work at five, six in the evening, like I'm done mentally, like I'm shot. So it was like a decision that was, it wasn't easy. It was a decision that I made to put myself in an uncomfortable position right now, maybe financially and, um, you know, just stress wise, uh, knowing that it eventually will pay off and that it's basically a means to an end. It is. Right now, this time period is vital for me to be putting in as much effort as I can into building my business, becoming reputable, and you know, gaining knowledge along the way. Because at the end of the day, this coaching shit is my career, and um, really, at the end of the day, it was just like I better start acting like it. You know, I'm not gonna be at this job for five more years, wishing, damn, I wish I, you know, I wish I would have, wish I would have quit a long time ago. Like it's. I'm happy with the decision, I really am. And um, this is the most effort, time, and energy that I put into my business. And I'm just gonna keep applying pressure until it is what I want it to be. And then I'm just gonna keep going up from there. So I just wanted to start off with that little clip. Uh, kind of let you guys know where I'm at, you know, with what I'm doing career-wise. Let you guys know how passionate I am about this shit. This fitness shit is honestly my life. So. Um, you guys enjoy the rest of the video, and as always, I appreciate you for tuning in. So, you do your thing and drive, and 
Oh yeah, we'll try. <laughs> you rolling? Yep. Guys. Give me one second. Okay. Guys, so we're officially there. We officially hit that threshold. I was hungry last night. So last night was the first night where I'm experiencing hunger laying in bed, where it was difficult to fall asleep because I'm hungry. And let's see, what are we five and a half weeks in? So that's it's happening later than I expected, to be honest. And I think something that plays a role in that is what's on my plate in terms of being far more busy and just things to get done in a day opposed to last prep. So a busy mind is gonna inevitably, you know, just have me focusing on hunger a little bit less. So there's goods and bads to that, but what I was, I just kind of remind myself of last night, cause I was kind of excited about this. Sounds weird, it's kind of excited though. It's like, I'm hungry, so I know it's working. I know the fat loss process is taking effect. And I woke up this morning called Mariah and I was like, I, I literally look different this morning than I did yesterday, very noticeably. My waist is just starting to form more. I can see my abs and obliques looking down now, which you guys know it's usually easier to see definition from like further away, that makes sense. Like, but like I can look down now and see some definition, which is clean, so. We're on the right track. And guys, like it's, what is it, Wednesday right now? I, I don't know why I'm having such a good day. Maybe I had too much caffeine, I definitely did. I had a coffee and a bang, no, a bang. What am, what am I talking about? I don't even drink bangs. I had a coffee and an Alani. So I'm like 350 deep, hence no pre-workout today, just going into it butt naked. Um, I don't even know what that means, but it sounds like it's a plug. Uh, yeah guys, great day. We're headed to a new gym, Brownsburg Fitness. I do my research before I go to a new gym and it's looking dope. It's, it's one of the gyms that got like primarily black, like wall, black interior. So like ceiling's black, walls are black. I think that shit's dope. It makes, it's just like a dope atmosphere to be in. Um, and guys, like, like I said, my mind's just going today. So I was on my way to pick up Eli. I'm like, I'm like thinking like, I'm really a weirdo. Like I'm a weirdo. Like I get enjoyment and fulfillment out of driving to go put myself in pain. Like think about that. I'm about to go put myself in pain, be uncomfortable and I like that. Like I, that makes me excited. That shit is weird. Like niggas who lift weights, you're weird. You gotta think about it like that sometimes. But hey, the sun is out. What, what more could I ask for? Um, I will see you guys at the gym. And we got we got the man. We got the man. Let him know. Yeah, him. yeah, he's not he's not filming in yeah, yeah. Y'all know y'all know what he's here for. Y'all know it's gonna happen, but I see you guys at this new gym. It's just as new to me as it is you guys, so we're on this venture together. Okay, so we've come to a general consensus that people just enjoy being weirdos. <laughs> um <laughs> we went in this gym my first time here. You know, asked him about a day pass. He was like, 10 bucks, cool. And then he said, you know, he was standing behind me. He was like, uh, what about you? And I was like, oh, he's just recording me. Does he need a day pass? And he was like, um, yeah, I don't know if that's going to fly. No, first he asked, he said, record what? Yeah. And what the, what, what the fuck do you think we're recording? Like, what? You think I'm going to be in that bitch stripping or something, bro? Like, I, don't, I literally don't know. Um, so, yeah, we're not going in there. Just It was like, thank you, and just walked out. So... Damn, we're like on the other side of town from the regular gym. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna see if there's another gym close to here. If not, I'm just gonna go to crusty ass Plainfield. <laughs> like I wanted a different environment, but my fuckers just gotta be weird sometimes, I guess. Yep. All right, what is good, gang? So we're back at the spot where I'm always at, unfortunately. I wanted to change the scenery so bad today, but I guess it wasn't happening for us. Uh, regardless, y'all know I got the man with me, the the magic maker, so, and he got the black magic on him, you know what I'm saying? And I'm letting him throw this one together, so uh, you're not gonna get any of that crazy blue lighting shit you guys got two videos ago. But while he sets it up, then a knockout, 10 minutes warm up, Stairmaster. I got a fire in my belly today, I'm ready to hit some damn arms. But hey, hey, we're here, we're gonna jump into a dope, sick, stupid, dumb ass edit in three, two, one. 
All right, so we were supposed to have this crazy ass edit with having the Black Magic cinema camera, but unfortunately, Eli's camera and computer were not cooperating with him this week. Premiere kept shutting down. Um, so basically, at the end of the day, we had to cut our losses. It was a week worth of you know troubleshooting. But um, yeah, we'll try not to let this happen again. Uh, very disappointing, but you know I had to get over it. There was nothing I can do. You are gonna keep watching the rest of this video though. Alright, so that arm day is nothing less than annihilated. I have a dummy pump. And check me out, the shoulder shape and striations are coming in a little bit. But I don't think I've given you guys a real physique update or just look uh, especially pumped since this series started. So I'm going to give you guys kind of a raw breakdown of what posing is currently at. Got the routine down, just got to perfect it, smooth it out a little bit. This is what we're working with. So, clearly the smoothest it's ever been, but I'm still looking to, you know, flatten out those rough edges. I don't know if that's a saying, but it made sense in my head. 206 currently, and I'm just now getting to that point where I'm starting to notice changes every couple of days. You know, deeper into prep, it'll be every day, but hey, we're making progress. I'm glad to see what we're doing is working, but uh, the fun is literally just now beginning. All right, that's a wrap on that one. I'm happy about it. I'm finna take old boy home. See what I'm gonna do after that. Finna go hang out with the girls after that, and then count down the time. Thank you. And then probably just count down the hours until I can eat my last meal. I had that second to last one before training, and it was like three o'clock. So I'm going, I usually go like my biggest gap in between eating from pre-workout meal to the end of the night. So sometimes I'm waiting like five, six hours, but you know, that's kind of, that's cool. I need to eat before I go to bed or I'm hurting in the middle of the night. Yeah, guys, that's what the rest of the evening is looking like. I've had an immaculate Wednesday. I don't know what, uh, it's just been such a good day. So I uh, hope you guys, I know you guys enjoyed that little edit. Stay tuned, rest of the video on its way. I'm always drinking something when I'm at this desk. But hey guys, so I thought it's probably about time with being like six, seven episodes deep in this series to kind of give you guys an inside look of what the meal plan is looking like and how nutrition is changing from week to week. So first thing I wanna start off with is for the last three weeks, we have been implementing a high and low day. So I'll have three high days a week and four low days. Now, typically you are thinking high carb day, low carb day. It's not necessarily like that. It's more of a total calorie perspective. So real quick, I'll go over what we were doing for 12 weeks out, which was last week. And then I'll get into what we were doing this week, which is we are three days into. 12 weeks out, we had three high days, four low days. The high days consisted of 3,200 calories. Low days was at 2,000. 933 so about a 270 calorie difference so from high to low days we had 263 grams of protein opposed to the low day having 240 the carbs stayed the same so you as you guys can see this is definitely not a high and low carb manipulation what really drastically changed was my fat intake high days was 72 grams low days was 54 grams so what this high and low day kind of allows us to do is slowly taper off calories and pinpoint where my digestion might be skewed. So if on my high day, um, I'm having you know bloating, digestive issues, and say we have a source of food in there that is not on there in the low days, and it's only happening on the high days, then we have a better chance of pinpointing exactly what is uh, messing with my digestion. But the main principle here is to slowly taper food down. Um, my, my fat was pretty high going into this prep. I think we were in the 90s, so seeing that my fat intake is slowly dropping is definitely where I 
think we should be at. So from transitioning from a high and low day week, we go into the low day for the next week. So for example, 12 weeks out, we had three high days, low four days. This week, which is 11 weeks out, I'm eating just on the low days. There are no high and lows. It was the low day from the previous week. Next week, if the trend continues, we will have high and low days with my low day right now being high and then the lower being decreased calories. So to give you guys kind of a breakdown of what I'm actually eating is I have five main meals and then two things I would kind of consider snacks. So, so we just transitioned from two ground beef and two chicken meals to three chicken meals, one ground beef. That is where a major uh, amount of that fat came from, from going from 72 grams to 54. Then I have oats in the morning and then a protein shake, vegan protein, banana, strawberry, ice, throw some cinnamon in that bitch. That is fire. These recovery aminos be so heat. Um, yeah, so I'm, I will be straight up. I'm not looking forward to the day where all my ground beef is gone. I greatly, greatly prefer ground beef opposed to chicken. That's just how it is. There's so much more flavor, but um, I'm getting way better at cooking my chicken. Like I'm cooking the shit out of that bitch. Getting it nice and crispy on both sides. That's how I like it. I don't like it all juicy. That is nasty. Not dry. I don't want it dry. I want it crispy and uh, what you call it? Charred? Charred. Charred. <laughs> um, terms of supplements. So we got seven grams of creatine daily. I've been on prep for uh, high. I've been on I've been on prep for somewhere in the 30 day range. It might be pushing 40 days. And I've only missed my creatine intake once. I am very proud of that. In the off season, I'll keep it a buck, guys. I would probably miss my creatine three days out of the week, so inconsistent. Um, and then we got recovery amino, so I'm drinking that every day and I have no issue with that because they are fire. Beam, code dev, save yourself 10%, get you some aminos, get you some vegan protein, get you some fire pre-workout, get whatever you need. Just use code dev. But that kind of wraps up a brief summary of the nutrition but what i'm gonna do is i'm going to give you guys an inside look of what my check-in responses from alex look like so we're gonna hop into that little video i'll just throw it up on the screen and you guys will see firsthand what i see when i get a check-in response what is up my man uh, first things first as always i do appreciate you giving me over your check-in all the time now my only question to you is for this week you setting check-ins in at like 4 15 a.m i want to make sure you're getting your sleep and your priorities at your sleep. If you're going if you're waking up at four in the morning you should be going to sleep oh man no later than 10. so let's just confirm that that's something that you're doing you're prioritizing sleep so you're prioritizing recovery and it's not just daily execution of the meal plan we have to make sure that uh, recovery is something that we're focusing on as well now for this week man I'm glad to see the trend is starting to go down. Keep in mind, uh, you are still eating damn near 385 grams of carbs. Um, so chances are we are going to start to see a trend once we do start to manipulate a little bit. Now, 400 grams of carbs compared to your body weight is extreme, but I like it. You're somebody who has typically a faster metabolism, um, who shows trends of not necessarily needing a crazy output, but instead just a longer level of consistency and your body is actually starting to recomp within, um, let's just say a few pounds of a drop. So if you drop, you know, one pound, it looks like your body has dropped four pounds or something along those lines. So I'm liking with what I'm seeing and I feel like your shape is coming back more and more every single week. And the best part about it is, man, we're not really wanting much, you know, you're at, I believe 300 grams of test. Um, and that is very minimal and the way your body's already responding early on in this process is amazing to see and uh the shredded Devin is beginning to come back and you can already see it while maintaining a great amount of muscle mass and overall shape so i'm happy to see it man your back is going to be coming in the part about your back that i really want to actually focus on is from rear delt to rear delt the detail right here i feel like we actually have pretty good detail coming through uh, but the biggest emphasis is going to be in the upper back so there are a few movements that i want to start to implement is basically where you're pulling it's not like a, it's not a face pull or anything face pulls here it's almost just a high row so you're pulling here you're not pulling here 
you're pulling here. Uh, I'll start to implement that sooner than later, uh, but for this week, the changes are in. Take a look. If you take a look at meal three, you're going to notice we're going to increase your protein from six ounces to seven. We're going to increase your protein again from six ounces to seven, all at the same time dropping your rice in your final meal, your final main meal, uh, down from 250 grams uh, to 200 grams. Now, outside of that, brother, if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know, but I'm extremely excited. I cannot stress this enough. Your body is really starting to respond. You're starting to shape. And again, one pound for you is like three pounds, four pounds for most. So let's keep our foot on the gas. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know and uh, let's get it. All right, so we finally got a day where it's not like 43 degrees and snowing in the beginning of April, which is really nice. It's like, it says it's 65, but somehow I'm still a little bit cold. Um, but yeah, no, I thought I would use this as a little outro to the video. Next time you see me, it will be 11 weeks out. It's in 11? Yeah, 11 weeks out. It is crazy how fast this prep is going and um, yeah, no, I'm just excited to keep training. I, I'm not letting, even on my my off days from the gym, I'm still getting my cardio in, still on the Stairmaster. So I feel like I'm embracing the process literally as much as possible. And um, I just brought my third meal of the day here, crushed that, and literally just looking forward to that ground beef meal at the end of the day. But that is it, guys. Hit that notification bell, hit the sub button, drop me a like. And if you ain't, fucking with the Instagram yet go ahead and fuck with it all right I'll see you guys in the next one